Hello, welcome to Creas web design video blog. Before we conclude our two-part tutorial on Apple Mail Signatures, we want to talk about Adobe's upcoming release, Creative Suite 5. There's several sneak peek videos already appearing on YouTube. CS5 is rumoured to be released on or around the 10th of April this year. Some of the previews suggest that there'll be some great new features in Photoshop CS5, including new brush and paint algorithms and more advanced image manipulation tools. There is also a lot of buzz around the rumoured ability to create iPhone applications in Flash CS5. If you want to find out more, check out the unofficial website, cs5.org. This dedicated Creative Suite 5 blog handpicks the most popular videos, rumours and facts about CS5. We are now going to conclude our video tutorial on creating HTML signatures in Apple Mail application. So creating HTML email signatures in Apple Mail may not be uh, obvious, but it is actually very straightforward to do once you know how. So the first thing we've got to do is create a email signature to start with. So I'm just going to call this one uh, test, and this will give us the default name and email address. So we'll come back to Apple Mail later, but obviously what we need to do now is prepare our HTML signature. So I've created this example in Dreamweaver. You can use any um, HTML text editor to create your HTML signature. I've got a simple table with two columns. I have a graphic um, and just some simple text. So if I go to the code view, I'm not um, externally sourcing, uh, sourcing any style sheets. All my CSS is inline. I'm just using uh, paragraphs and tables to create my signature. It's also very important to remotely host your images that you might want to use in your HTML signature because you can't send them as attachments. It's a lot easier to host them online and source them through that method. So once you've created your HTML signature like I've finished here, simply save it as a HTML or HTML file onto your desktop. Let's just close that. And then open it up in Safari. So you can test how it, uh, its appearance in Safari before you save it. And what we're going to essentially do now with this HTML file is overwrite the signature that we made a moment ago in Apple Mail. So to do this, we go to File, Save As, and then we've got to go and find our mail preferences. So they're on the hard drive. Find the user, usually yourself, and then find Library, then down to Mail, and then Signatures. So this uh, file here that starts with C75, this is the blank um, HTML uh, signature that we just created a moment ago in uh, Apple Mail. So what we're going to do is overwrite it with our new custom HTML email signature. So all I have to do is click on it and click Save, and that's going to overwrite it with our custom HTML. So we'll get rid of that for the moment. If I still go to New Message, you'll notice that the HTML signature hasn't yet loaded. Um, all you've got to do is just relaunch Mail. So if I quit mail, relaunch it, and now if I go to new message, you'll see that my HTML signature has loaded and it's all ready to use. You can also use um, dynamic buttons, like uh, you could use Skype's dynamic icons to show your status and when you're online. So these can be very useful for having a very dynamic and custom HTML email signature. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our supporting blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog.